appropriate training on the improved jam for boiling rice technology within the context of the innovation platform IP have started to make a difference in the lives of over 450 women rice for boilers in the Glasway Rice Hub in Benin. Technologies developed at Africa Rice are subjected to validation. Validation tests are carried out by researchers in close collaboration with end users. For example, for rice parboiling, researchers with the active involvement of women parboilers jointly test and validate technologies and innovations to ensure it responds to the needs of the users. In the past, we used to parboil rice with small pots and high firewood consuming stoves, but today, with the Africa Rice training, they provided us with the jam technology with improved stoves. The quantity of our parboiled rice increased as well as our income. Initially, women rice parboilers worked individually, but they soon realized that they must come together in order to meet the increasing demand for parboiled rice. I was an individual rice parboiler in my house. I then realized that alone, I couldn't make progress nor receive financial support. As a member of the Rice Farmers Union, Unirice C, together with my peers, we created a women parboilers group in our village. We are rice producers of Zoo and Collins, and we are in the field working with INRAP, which is a key partner for Africa Rice. We have seed producers, but we are also producers who work with them in the maintenance of the seeds. In accordance with the strategic plan of Africa Rice's research for the benefit of rural women and the development of the rice value chain, and based on the needs of the stakeholders, Africa Rice facilitated the creation of two innovation platforms, one in Bante and the other in Glasway both in the Glasway Rice Hub. In Benin, we have two rice hubs, Glasway Rice Hub and Malanville Rice Hub. And this has been selected by themselves, the Beninese themselves, in collaboration with Africa Rice, of course. But they are the ones that took leadership through INRAP to select where we should concentrate efforts so that we can have critical mass of actors value chain stakeholders and critical mass of both scientists and development people, farmers, producers, uh, transformers, family, uh, women processors, transporters, microfinance, the, the, the mayors that are responsible for local policy making. By bringing together all the stakeholders the Glasway Innovation Platform has promoted the creation of good business relations between the various stakeholders in the rice value chain. When stakeholders are organized, it's easier for the extension worker to intervene and the impact is better, and we reach a larger number of producers. With the implementation of the platform, we have developed several business partnerships with each of these actors. The platform has allowed us to know the credit needs of each actor based on the period of this activity. The most important beneficiaries are seed producers, farmers and women rice power boilers. In 2015, the amount of credit granted can be estimated to 10 million CFA francs and loan recovery is ongoing very well. With the birth of the platform, the producers are together and we give loan based on the social capital of these groups. So in a way, the birth of the platform is a social guarantee under the umbrella of organization that brings together those actors in the rice sector. The benefit we have by parboiling rice using gem technology is that before we did parboiling in small quantities, but now it is in large quantities. We also used to take credit, but not more than 150,000 or 200,000 CFA. But all that Africa Rice provided us with gave us access to more credit. In the past, we reimbursed CLCAM every month, but now with the platform, I pay back my credit every six months rather than every month. With funding from the African Development Bank, AFDB, 
The project supports your agricultural research for strategic crops in Africa, SARD SC, has installed in Glasway the Gem Rice Parboiling Complex. To manage better this new method of parboiling rice, Africa Rice organized a training for women parboilers over a period of two and a half months. We've been trained at Africa Rice to the use of the Gem Parboiler. Upon the installation by Africa Rice of the Gem Parboiler in Glasway, we, the 12 women trainees who were trained at Africa Rice, trained the other members of the groups in the Colleen. In addition to the beneficiaries from the Glasway Rice Hub, this training also gathered women from Mallonville and 10 youth entrepreneurs. The difference between what is installed in Glasway and what we have in Mallonville is that we don't have good processing equipment in Mallonville. Our equipment in Mallonville is traditional, while the one in Glasway is modernized. At home, we use 40 kilograms pots made by blacksmiths, but here in Glasway, we noted the energy-efficient stoves. They maintain the heat. With a traditional stove in Mallonville, it takes 1 hour to 1 hour 45 to process one batch of paddy. While with the jam parboiler in Glasway, I noticed that it is at most 20 to 25 minutes. This is a big difference. The jam parboiler in Glasway is modernized. Work is easier than what we did at home. We have two pots with improved stoves that prevent smoke from entering our eyes. At home, the smoke bothers us when using the traditional equipment. Also, here on the Glassway Innovation Platforms, we have shoes and protective clothing that are suitable for the job. This training has allowed women to explore the GEM method with its many advantages including reducing post-harvest losses, parboiling a large quantity of rice in a limited period of time, and improving the quality of rice that meets consumer demands better. And it's that aspect of good quality rice that attracts more and more consumers to the locally produced parboiled rice in Glasway. This is why parboiled rice is easily sold and increases the income of women parboilers. Before the innovation platform, Sales were not as good as we wanted. With the platform, I now sell up to 5 tons per month, compared to less than 2 tons per month. Profit from parboiled rice is higher than the one from milled rice, so it helps us. We no longer wait for money from our husbands to solve our home needs, such as expenses for the education of our children, our own clothing, health, etc. Tangible livelihood changes in Glasway motivate Africa Rice and its partners to replicate this experience in the Mallonville Rice Hub in Benin. Africa, Rice, 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 Rice.